Good morning. Quickly to just review what we're doing today. I don't think I, we got caught up in presentations and I was making some points and I need to review. So if you've not finished your Supreme Court case presentation, this is your last day for finishing it. Um, and I know I'm probably not going to get to them on Friday, but you should still have them, should still have them completed and ready to go. Um, for for to be fair Friday but it'll probably be Monday before we present um, but that th that is the that's where we're sitting with the the, the the Supreme Court cases you saw some good models uh, you saw some good models on on Wednesday when we presented um, when they when we saw presentations you saw some pretty good models big font explain the case especially explaining where what amendments are related so the articles do a pretty good job talking about that and of course the OEA site and outside resources will help you as well with this. Um, we're going to look at, this is not going to be due to Monday, but if, if those of you that have finished your Supreme Court case presentation or are ready to go, um, this is slide 10 and A10, slide 10 and eight, slide 10 and A10. We're going to look a little deeper at affirmative action. One of the cases that people will be presenting, I forget who it is, Whoever it is on my rotation, Grutter versus Bollinger's, Gavin, Brady, and Cole, um, it, separately, I believe, or two of them are together, one separate, whatever, um, talking about affirmative action. And one of the articles that you're going to look at it, it today is, is the continuation of that case. And another, using that precedent, they made some decision, uh, the Supreme Court made a decision in, in, a, in a case in the University of Texas where a lady had been, a girl had been denied um uh, Where's, where's the article? The girl had been um, denied. So there's several New York Times articles. Eh, this one, sorry about that. Where a girl had been denied um, uh, admission, even though the Texas admits the top 10, uh, top 10 percent of the the class guarantees admission. But this, the, she, but she was denied, and she claimed that it was because of use of the use of affirmative action. Supreme Court allows it if it promotes diversity, uh, but it has to be very ta narrowly tailored. So you're going to look at this specific plan. Um, th this article will help you that I'm going to post. The OEA website, the summary of this will help you um, to talk about this. This gets a little bit technical, nothing that you can't handle, but does get a little bit technical, which justice voted in favor. What, what, what type of affirmative action has been declared unconstitutional? That's largely the use of quotas, but as long as Race is a factor, what, what what they call a plus factor in determining admission, either to a postgraduate. Uh, the Grutter versus Bulger case was law school. This is this is undergrad, but a plus factor to promote diversity. Colleges have had the right to promote diversity according to, to to precedent, but can't just say, well, we're gonna we need fifteen percent of our incoming freshmen to be. African American and ten percent to be of Asian descent, of, of East Asian descent, or something like that. You can't do quotas. That's quotas. That's that's illegal. That's that's illegal affirmative action. The Supreme Court has vo has voted against that, but that's a very nuanced way um, to do that. So the rationale for the majority opinion, the dissent. Um, if you were U.S. Supreme Court justice, how would you rule in this case? And the dissent, you might have to remember. I realized for the dissent, you might have to go out and do a search for dissenting opinion. On uh, well, no, Justice Thomas wrote the dissent here, so you might get a good summary on on OEA of this, and those will be posted separately. It's, it's still shadowed, but this will be posted separately. Technically, it can be due Friday, but because people are still working on their Supreme Court cases, uh, the presentation maybe this isn't going to be to do till till Monday. So you, some of you may be getting a little bit a little bit ahead if you want to work, work on that. And we'll look at the we'll look at some of the next things on. Uh, on Friday as well, um, even though I've got to kind of try to manage a couple of different things with the with our attorneys coming in for for the uh, for our for our mock trial and so on. But that's so far just involving the attorneys, um, our attorneys, our student attorneys, and then we'll, we'll get to the witnesses um, very shortly. OK, um, so that is shortly like with hopefully within the next week or so. Um, or, or right after break. So this is A10 slide 10 to be checked Monday. Um, but there may be something else that we end up looking at on Friday. So if you've done, don't just sit and say, oh, I'm done. You know, this this shouldn't take you very long. But again, I, I may do Monday in case some of you still need to work on your 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 presentation. Some of you are still wrapping, wrapping that up. Okay. See you Friday.